Alongside programming languages themselves, developers use a few tools to help increase efficiency when they code, or that allow them to code for certain platforms. I'm gonna go over some terms that you might hear regularly in association with programming. Some of them have scary sounding names, but we'll see that they're really pretty easy to figure out. Let's start with libraries. A library is a collection of code you can have alongside your application so that your app can link to it and use that code. It's a file with a bunch of reusable code so that you don't have to write the same code over and over again. Some people make libraries others can use freely for pretty common calculations, or chunks of code a programmer would need on a regular basis. An example could be a library of statistical functions or algorithms a programmer can use in their own program without having to write that code again themselves. Ever have a phone number that you put on speed dial instead of dialing it all the time? Think of a library like speed dial for programmers. Now let's talk about frameworks. A framework can be anything or everything you use in an application development. It can be a single library, a collection of several, or even a bundle of something else like scripts. If you're wondering what the difference is between a framework and a library, you're not alone. Here's the key difference. Frameworks are just larger sets of pre-made code with blank areas that you fill with your own code. Now, libraries, on the other hand, are smaller, more narrowly focused pieces of code that you can use in your own larger code that makes up your program. Here's a quick real-world parallel. Imagine you're designing a house, and you find your ideal location and design your own outside walls, roof, etc. But you want to design two of the rooms in your house the exact same as the rooms your friend's house has. But you don't want to do the work of trying to replicate that design into the blueprint yourself. So you just get a copy of those room designs from your friend. In this case, those room designs you got a copy of are like libraries. On the other hand, if you went to a store and bought an entirely pre-made design for your house with one blank spot for a room you could design yourself, that'd be more like using a framework. All right, another term, SDK. An SDK is a software development kit or a set of tools for creating apps using a particular programming language. An SDK is usually centered around an application where the actual coding and testing takes place. The SDK is like the programmer's workshop where they have all the tools and resources they need to build an app. For example, if a developer wants to make an app for iPhones, they need to use the tools inside the iOS SDK, which is provided by Apple, to make their code work on an iPhone. So keep these in mind and you've got a good foundation for the most common terms you'll hear engineers use in association with programming languages.